Hello, this is Rainy Link. I just wanted to offer you a tool that can help you format APA references, and the, it is called crossref.org. And let me explain real quickly what Crossref is. It is an international nonprofit that manages something called DOI numbers. These are digital object identifiers. So the natural question is, what the heck does that mean? Well, it comes down to this. We use hyperlinks a lot in APA. So it's supposed to help us find that particular article very quickly and easily, and it often does that. But what you'll find over time is websites change, they reorganize their pages, websites go down. And so over time, you may find a year later, two years later, that weblink is dead. And recognizing that this is kind of a long-term issue, Crossref is an international group that got together and said, let's use something that's more efficient. So a DOI number will be good forever. And no matter where that article goes on the internet, uh, don't worry about the hyperlink. Use the DOI number and it will get you right there. So 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you will be able to access it. So in the let me also mention here, you can still use hyperlinks, so don't panic, but I'm just telling you this is the trend of where we're going, and a lot of students find it easier to, you know, use what is the emerging as the standard practice of the DUI. And actually using Crossref is a great way to quickly format your APA. So let's go take a look at it, okay? We're going to make this go away, and let's say you found this great article. So this is an article um, that I wrote recently, and you can see here that it lists the title, the volume, the issue, the year. And if you look down at the bottom, there is a DOI number that you can use here. But if you're not sure and you're kind of like, um, how do I quickly put all that into something? Well, just take the title. I'm copying it here. And then you get to go to the Crossref website. And what you do is you just type in the title and search. Now, as long as the item has a DUI number, it will come up here. So there are some journals who don't have a DUI number. Um, most websites do not have a DOI number, but if it's a journal, um, you will usually have one. So see, here it is, came right up. Now we go under actions and we go to site. So here you can see every single kind of formatting you could choose is right there. You just go to APA and boom, there it is, all ready to go for you. So let's go ahead and copy this. So I'm copying it now, and let's go to our reference page. So I'm coming here, and let's take a look. This should be pretty easy. We come right here, I click, and then I paste it in. Now, you see it comes in in that funky kind of formatting, so all you do in Microsoft Word is just come over here and say, keep text only. Boom! There it goes. Um, with any system, you have to make little slight changes. For example, with a journal, you always want to um, italicize the journal name and the volume number. So, boom. There you go. Now you got your reference. So I hope that this was helpful for you, and I hope that this can be helpful for you as you're doing your references for your major papers. Uh, thanks so much. This is Rainy Link.